You ever think about death, Sam? You won't find a more highly effective, nor highly efficient, auto-mechanical, fine-tuned to... New face, huh? You from Offworld? A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. I wouldn't doubt it. You look like the type who tends to come out on top. Not like us cogs, trying to be the squeaky wheel but just getting deadlocked. It's been days, but Velma won't even hear us out. Maybe you could just make her listen to our demands. You would do that? We sure are lucky you decided to come up to the patio today. I knew drinking up here would be good for more than the view. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Not forever. But we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two, at least. If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. I'm thinking on my dad today. Do you miss Mr. Hawthorne, Sam? While Sam units are mass-produced for economical purposes, the overall quantity is limited compared to other auto-mechanical product lines. Because we understand our clientele is exclusive and discerning. I guess you probably never met him, huh? Well, that's okay. You got us. We'll be your dad now.
Smells like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from the back. Hey, Velma, I got your cathanoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire Sublight contractors at this rate. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise. But I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Got an update for us? We can't afford to sit this out for too much longer. Know what I mean? How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. As agreed, here's your compensation. Ain't a lot, but...
but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. <laughs>